Hey, welcome back. Herminator here. Hey, I, I'm going to do a little helmet um, review on this H, um, HJC I-90 helmet. I know I look ridiculous and retarded, but hey, that's okay. I'm, I'm uh, past the age where I give a crap about that stuff. So, and so should you. So, anyway, um, got the helmet on here, as you can see. And this is the modular helmet. I'm going to go over it a little bit more with you. Um, kind of go over how I enjoy the helmet. I know it's just a helmet, but it's very important. And we'll get into that here in a little bit. But um, stay tuned and thanks for uh, your support. And we'll be right back at you. Well, that's enough of that. See, I don't like I don't like uh, wind noise, so we're gonna go back to the audio. I'll eventually get something in the helmet, but anyway, this this is about the helmet. I have a lot of questions uh, posted, like, does your helmet fit under the seat? Yes, it does. But here's the key: you got to find one that fits. I took me like three times or three helmets that I had to try to fit, you know, that would finally fit under my seat. Uh, there's a little flex in the seat because it's plastic, so it does talk touch the top of the helmet when you close the lid of the seat but it has enough flex that it closes it's not going to hurt anything um, so this this helmet barely fits under the seat um, so I suggest if you you know get a helmet make sure you have the bike there so you can definitely you know that was a mistake that I almost walked out of the place without even trying and then at the last minute I thought wait a minute did I even try to fit this under the seat and sure enough the first one I bought did not so I had to try like two other ones and finally I found this one. But uh, this brand is one of the top, you know, companies. HJC is one of the top companies in the world that makes helmets. Um, this one I paid um, a little over $200, maybe $239. And I got white because it adds more visibility. Um, it does have the built-in sunscreen. You know, there's a little lever on the side that's very hard to find. But it's wor it works. So if the sun's right in your face, you have that little slide button on on the left hand side that you can drop the visor down which is contained inside the helmet it's really cool actually it's got the um the mouthpiece for ventilation and there's a top ventilation um but no i like it um it, it, you need to buy a helmet you're going to wear because if you buy a helmet that's uncomfortable you're not going to wear it and you're going to defeat the purpose so here's my email address if you have any questions on it or if you want to send me photos to be included in any videos in the future um, I'm not going to have the shout out in this video because I'm just trying to get this one popped out real quick. But I'll have the shout out coming up next video. But anyway, this this is my helmet. It's it's bright, it's white, and it's visible. Um, but I'll go over a little more detail here. But but yeah, it, it's um, you know I I just want to be seen. You know that's the big uh, factor for me is just being visible out there for other traffic. So. That's that. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video, okay?
this is hard to find man this is why i don't do this too often there's like a little switch up there i can't see it you know what and it's like there we go so this whole this is a modular helmet so what that means is modular like this part this part is modular so there's your chin guard mouth guard right that lifts up you just lift up on this red part and then i never ride like this or i never put it up but if you need to get to your face or something pretty cool shield and over here is like i said your sun visor so i like it um it's pretty cool this is a like i said this is a um uh i-90 helmet and you know it, it it does everything i need it to do so i am going to chill out here a minute and stay tuned for more but let me get this off here's the uh obviously uh, i guess it fell off i had this snapped at one time but yep oh my gosh so that's it uh, as you can see a beautiful day and i just came out to do a little ride but um yeah that that i mean i'm, I'm real pleased with the helmet and i'll talk a little bit more about it here in a minute yeah you know what i thought i'd do a little bit hey i tell you what human beings do like the stare don't they so do a little bit behind the scenes here little gag reel i guess you call it i think i'll start doing because i'm like goofy man i have all kind of weird stuff happening <laughs> when i got on the bike today i went out and i realized i had my um mechanics gloves on like they say mechanics on like what the and i'm not even realizing until i'm getting halfway down the street so i had to go back and and change my um my gloves you know that's what happens when you get older so let's go for a little bit of ride here yeah i think um man i'm embarrassed but i only have a 805 miles on this bike you know and it's about i think it's over a year old now i've had it just a ride around a year that's pretty sad but again you know i have an excuse i had some stuff going on where i couldn't ride as much but hey you know what happens life happens right but anyway let's go for a little ride you're going to get a different camera angle angle here today of course this is the little switch you, you kind of lift up on this red piece like that and pull it down so let's hit the road jack but oh, man it's a beautiful morning let me do this i'll ride as i talk here so yeah the wind is probably not real good with this uh camera with the that's why uh, I beat a dead horse and I record my audio separately. But hey, now let's just drive around here slowly. Maybe you can hear me. I don't know if you can. I'm, I'm gonna have to wait till I get this footage on the computer to see what it says or what it sounds like, I should say. But yeah, beautiful morning. It is Saturday. I'm free. I'm free. People are looking at me like, what is this guy doing? Talking to himself. That's okay. Not too many people around. There was a guy in a truck just like stopped in the parking lot, was looking at me like, "What's up, man? Never seen a scooter before." Oh, ADV 150. It's not a scooter, right? Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Again, this is just a little gag reel behind the scenes stuff. Um, I'm starting to, you know, put my feelers out to other YouTube channelers and Moto Vlogs. You know, kind of just doing some networking with them. And I think that's important for a channel growth. Uh, there's some guys in the... Uh, these damn speed bumps, man. They're like, tear your, tear your wheels off. Um, there's some guys in, this, in the Pacific West, I guess you would call it. Oregon. And they got a really nice Moto V-Log. I'll put the link in the... If you're looking for some ADV stuff, um, some custom ADV, they're a, they're a mod shop. You know, so they, um, I'll put the link, like I said, to their website down below. And I was checking out their website 
little free plug for them, right? Thanks, guys. But you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I'm just riding around the parking lot here, jab, jibber jabbing. Um, but yeah, they got a nice, a nice selection of modifications for the ADV 150. You know, if you're looking for a um, like a muffler or some pulleys, you know, because like I said, this thing gets about this damn speed bump here. Oh my God. Thanks, church. We're not going to fly through here. Don't worry. So anyway, they got some mods. They got the uh, the pulleys and the rollers because when this thing hits 67, like I said in the other video, it's got that uh, rev limiter kicking in. So you can't go above 67. Again, I didn't buy the bike for that. But if you do, if you're a gearhead and you do want to do some modifications, check out this website because some of their videos, I've seen the... Um, I've seen these bikes get up to like 81 miles an hour, but of course they had, you got to spend a little money for some mods, and they change out the, what they call the pulleys and the rollers, and I don't know the, the engineering mechanics behind that, but if you, if you um, want to do that, you can get a few miles an hour out of this bike a little higher. Like 67, you could get over 10, maybe 12 miles an hour, and I'm, I'm kind of large, I'm 215 pounds, of course, I'm all solid muscle, you know, I'm like, I'm kidding. I used to be. I used to actually be a bodybuilder, believe it or not. But anyway, I'm a 215, so this bike um, has to pull 215 pounds. Now, some of those young guys that work on these bikes, you know, and they have their own little mod shop, and they keep active, and they don't sit on their ass like me all day doing a help desk. Terrible thing for you, man, sitting all day. Sitting is the new cancer, you know what I mean? So. I try to get up as much as I can, but I'm literally, whee, I'm literally glued to a desk with two monitors and a headset, and it's called Corporate America. What can I do? But anyway, getting back to the weight, um, I used to be very active, and you know, if you sit all, you know, I've been sitting for 20 years, you're doing uh, help desk stuff, it really catches up to you. So uh, that'll change one day, of course. I'm real confident that it will. But anyway. We are going to, uh, you know, lose weight. We're going to get in shape. I got a, I got a wedding coming up. Not my own wedding, but a relative. And I got to, man, I got to drop some weight. Here's that speed bump again. I'm getting the heck out of this parking lot. This is a freaking annoying. Oh, my God. Thanks, church. We're not going to speed through here. But, yeah, I hope you like the videos. I, I'm trying to get a little more diversity with, uh, like this, the camera angle. And I'm going to go up here where this guy was staring at me like, what the hell was that guy doing? I'm gonna go up here. Where'd he go, buddy? Oh, he's gone. Hey. Yeah, these older people that just like to stare at people, you know, like checking them out. It's your old drill sergeants, you know, Mr. Mall Cops. What are you doing in the parking lot driving around with shorts on? Actually, I don't, you know, you can't tell, but I have shorts on um, because I'm just gonna ride around the neighborhood. Now, you guys, um, a few, com a few uh, people got on me um, on my channel for um, not wearing protective gear. I got the gloves, but man, it's freaking 90 degrees it feels like already. And um, I'm going to take that chance. Now, I got the helmet on, which of course is the important part, but as I mentioned in the video, but um, sometimes I don't like to go put the longer pants on because it's just so damn hot all the time. Um, and I just wanted to do a quick ride around here, so I'm kind of defending myself um, because I have shorts on, which is stupid. But people actually get on you for that. Um, hey, it's my life. It's my knees. It's my road rash, right? Who cares? But no, if I go and I'm going to do a serious ride where I'm out with a bunch of traffic, I do put I put the long pants on, and sometimes even though it's hot, I'll put the long sleeves on. I got it's not really a motorcycle jacket per se, but it's just um, and I do need to invest in better gear. I've been saying that for the last year, right? So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna drive a little bit here and cut it off now. So. Um, Stay tuned for some riding here. I'm going to shut up because the wind's going to get a little noisy, which I don't like. Yeah. Here we go. Put the mod. Oh, got to put this down. See, this is a little bit tricky to find. Oh, shit. There we go.
sauna.